Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I thought of doing a quick video in guiding you guys through as to how to change your portal URL. Uh, this is for those of you who've got a global media box, right? If you're on my TV, you will have a similar screen uh, as mine. So let's get to it. Uh, it's quick and easy. Um, I'm just going to navigate you guys through so it's easy for you to understand the steps while I'm doing it as well. So once you power your box up uh, and then when you go to my TV, uh, all I want you to do is uh, take, go to your TV remote and then click on OK. Once you click on the OK button, uh, if you have a program loading up, you'll have a program loading up on your TV. If not, all you have to do is just click on the menu button. So if you don't have any uh, live TV or if you've not subscribed to any live TV you just have a blank black screen with an authentication pop-up window all you have to do is just click on the menu button on your remote when you click on the menu button on your remote always make sure you point it towards the box the remote so as you see I have a portal already embedded um, now this is in fact uh, where you could add a second portal to your box so all you have got to do is uh, use the remote uh, click on the down arrow key and then you will have to go to settings so once you go to settings you click on the OK button in your remote and when you click on the OK button as you see I've already uh, got a portal uh, which says path to portal uh, so I want you to do is what I would like you guys to do is to enter a new portal so for example, if you are entering a new portal, go to the second portal which says path to portal 2. Once you uh, see that all highlighted in blue, uh, just have to click on the OK button there. And then you just have to enter the uh, dedicated URL which is provided by your supplier or which is provided by me. Uh, if you use my TV services. So I'll provide you that through text. Uh, if you are, uh, I would say, a client who is subscribed to my live TV services. So once I do provide that, you could just kind of, it's very simple, easy to go as you see. When you uh, click on the down arrow key, you just go uh, type in the uh, URL. Keep in mind, you don't have to put HTTP here. So forget about HTTP double colon forward slash forward slash so when it comes to the global media box you just get to the portal itself so let's say it is sd i'm just just trying to do an example here then let's say sd dot z x so i'm just trying to show you guys an example so once you're done what you do is you click on the back button on your remote and then you see the keyboard disappearing uh, click on the down arrow key and then you would see the little OK button, it's all highlighted in blue. So once you come to that, you select OK, uh, so press the OK button, boom, you're ready to go. So easy as that, guys, as you see, you know, it's not rocket science, right? Uh, anybody could do it. Once you're done, you just click on the back button here. Uh, and then you'll be coming back to the settings, uh, exit, and the path to portal option. So very simple once you're down with the url you just go to the bottom and go to the rear left rear right rather and select exit boom that's it so simple as that i hope you enjoyed my video i hope uh, it was useful if you have any questions any comments please feel free to drop them thank you so much guys and i hope you have an awesome day